Okay, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate a common problem seen with just an e directory install, and not just DSFW specifically, but just e directory in general. And that is really, uh, it comes down to your CA. And I'm, I've got a, a Express install set up ready to go, so I'm just going to click next here and let this kick off. And I have, uh, it's going to take a little bit of time for this to, to get going, but just so you know, I've got the Y2 log tailing. You can see, give, give an idea. It's not tr quite into the E directory section yet, but it'll get out, hit it there. There it goes. And we're going to tail the ndsd.log. And if you do the dash capital F, because it does not exist, it'll pick it up once it gets going. So here we can see it, it's contacting our server the uh, e-directory server that's already in the tree has a replica of root specifically going through extending the schema and getting some updates and then we're going to run into an error and there it is so we get the details of it error 74 what does that mean? So no, no such attribute. It's looking for the SAS service, as you can see right here. The SAS service, we get an error 63, and the NDS config returned as a 74. What does that mean? It means that the uh, host name does not exist on your certificate server. So let's go here in iManager, click on Novell Certificate Server. Click on our certificate host. Ooh, host name, nothing there. There is no CA. Don't know who it is. What do we have to do? If you don't have a CA, unless you have a backup that you can re-import the, the CA, you're just going to need to recreate a new one. And it's usually not a problem unless you have user certificates. Then I'm hoping you have a backup. You definitely should have a backup of your CA. So looking at the log, we can see right here, it's pretty much pulling the same thing. Oh, this uh, uh, just did a little bit more, but here the 603 is is also returned right there. So uh, those are uh, the, the the key errors that, that you need or key keys you need to look at. So what do we do to fix that? We go and I manager. Let's just delete it. I like to come here. It's in the security container. We see the name DSFW underscore tree CA. Let's delete that. Preference. Let's allow everything for that. So one more time. Delete. Yes. Let me just copy this name because I'm going to use that same name. OK. There we go. This is a single server tree, so we don't have to worry about obits. But uh, if you have a lot of um, servers you might want to just wait a little bit or force a heartbeat make sure that that uh, synchronizes out so let's go back certificate server certificate authority it's going to detect there is no certificate authority so you can do one of two things actually you could instead of if you delete it you could in yes yeah, say okay and reconfigure and what it will do is it'll add the DSFW server as the the host server for the CA. So the CA will reside on your DSFW server, which might not be a good idea, depending on what you're doing. Uh, if you want your server that has a CA to have a, definitely have a replica of root, and depending on what happens with your your DSFW server, anyway, it, I would just have it on an e-directory server. That's just my recommendation. So let's go back. Let's pick a server, and we are going to go to, in this case, it's the service container, e directory. There we go. Just pick the standard, uh, the ob uh, object name. We're going to call this DSFW underscore tree CA. So that's our tree name, and that it's a CA. So, yes. So next. It's going to let us know what it's doing, and voila, it'll be finished here in a second. There we go. So now you can see we have a host server, e directory server, all listed. So let's go back and reconfigure. 
So we can retry the configuration from scratch or we can clean up and use what we have right now. We don't need we know everything is fine, so we're not going to select option we're going to do option 2. Do not do option three, or I shouldn't say option three, but abort the eDirector install. It'll try to go and configure everything else, and everything's going to fail. So if you fail here, hold it. Don't do anything uh, except option one or option two, uh, unless you want to completely rebuild the box. So like I said, option two is we, we like our parameters. We're just going to go through the same thing. So it's going to go through, clean up the objects that are in the tree, and it's going to start over again. So if we look, because if we looked in iManager, we would see that actually that server object does exist. So you see right here the OES. Anyway, so it is going through that. Went through it. It's running the NDS config, which is where we failed last time, 43%. Probably clicking around too fast. <laughs> the LDAP agent. Let's see. It's taking its time. <laughs> There, it just kicked off. There it goes. So now we've got it. Got to have it going. It went and set up the tree, and it's just cruising on through the install. So that's a common error that uh, and just config error 74 again, just with eDirectory in general. So if you see that, you're going to have to recreate your CA. All right. Hope that was. If there is a, a server there listed, make sure that that server is up. Let's just go right back to it. So if we go and you see uh, a host server is listed there, and it's another server than the one that you're using to install, go and make sure that that server is up. Uh, make sure that it has a replica of root. Um, j j just make sure th and make sure that the server can ac access it, that you can ping it and, and such. So, all right, I hope that was helpful and that you learned something from it. All right, thanks for watching.